I got to get them over. Get us behind. Don't you ever get to go? Okay. Um, we're here today. Uh, one of our dreams in the neighborhood. Well, one of our dreams in the neighborhood has come true. We took a vac vacant lot that was really not good. I'm going to talk positive. Not a good site. Uh, we had an administration that took it down for us. It was community development. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. Mike Dion's office. That'd be much better. Um, he's helped us bring the um, this house down. That was the, uh, a, a disaster. Um, we worked very hard. We had the uh, Cisco's come in, and that year, I think 2013, came in and put all new soil. Took all the bad stuff uh, all out. Um, added. Uh, seedling to water the, the grass so we, they can be a beautiful lot uh, for the future, which we are here in the future. We had Marlene, who's a board member from her back house, who decided we used her own water to water the grass so it can grow so it can be beautiful. Uh, we also uh, cut the grass. Marlene, my husband, her husband Chris, uh, we did a lot. We had DPW come in and kind of put stones around so people wouldn't pop, so it wouldn't damage the grass. That happened, but everybody was respectful and took good care of the property. They didn't damage or do anything. Um, I've reached out to Carol Viola. I've reached out to Senator Michael Rodericks. I've reached out to everybody, but it's been behind us 110%. We have Father Kelly neighborhood on board with us. We have Niagara neighborhood on board with us. Uh, it's just, I, the recreate, I can't, I'm gonna cry. Just can't believe how much we got. I'm so appreciated by Lowe's. For you to come out. This is like Christmas for us in this neighborhood. I apologize. <laughs> I'm going to turn it over to Carol, state representative, who made this happen along with Lowe's. So I can't talk anymore. Uh, Carol. <laughs> Natalie, um, I know this is a dream come true for you and your your neighborhood association and the neighborhood associations that work with you. And this is a perfect example for the community to look at all of the agencies, both governmental and volunteer and, and, and private corporations that have come together because of a vision that you had. And throughout this community, I will often hear people say, you know, when I show up at an event, they should do this and they should do that. And I hear that quite often. And I would, I in turn, turn around and go, they are you and they are me and they are everybody. There's no magic bullet of how this has come to be. This was hard work, a vision, and positive, positive outreach. My little piece of this was, you know, quite um, unique. Uh, I had been aware of Natalie and the associations, uh, along with Recre CD Recreation's uh, efforts to turn this into a community garden. It had been presented to me, and I was very fortuitous to be in the company of Lowe's one day. And I'd like Clint to come forward for a minute. This is the manager of the Dartmouth. This is the manager of the Dartmouth Lowe's. And I happened to be at an event two days after I had uh, been pitched by Natalie uh, about this garden and how everyone needed to help. And we needed money and we were building beds. And you know, I know Joanne Bentley played oh a role God. in this from an architectural point of view. I mean, it's countless the people who played a role in this. I just happen to be in the company of, of Clint and David Gomes over here. David, please come forward as the Market Regional Manager of Lowe's. And how fortuitous our police officers are driving by right now, who have always been a part of this. So I ran into people at Lowe's and I said to them, do you have a minute? I want to share with you something that's happening in our community, in my district, and do you have any way to help? And that resulted in a couple of meetings. We went over to Lowe's with Natalie and, um, and then Chris from CD Recreation, and we sat down with them. And they have a program called Lowe's Heroes. Everybody turn around, you get your Lowe's Heroes shirts on. Lowe's Heroes, unbelievable. Woo! And they pick, and they pick, all of their 1,000 plus stores pick each year a community event in their region. Now Lowe's is in Dartmouth. They could have been anywhere in the market but they picked this project and we couldn't be more grateful and I am so happy to have played a tiny role in this and to get you all here and to commit to not only donating at cost over $2,500 worth of materials, but over the course of two days, you have, you have had oh, your yeah. employees paid and volunteered 
dozens of them, yes. come on site for this. And that is so critical in jump-starting this project. And we couldn't be more pleased to thank you. And thank you. Fall River and this region so wonderful and so when they say they need to do something look in the mirror because they are you and um, and so I would like to turn this over to you Clint because um, I'd like you to share a little bit more about what Lowe's does and how you feel about this project because I know you said this has been very unique this is so a, thank you yeah, you're welcome Carol this is a great project you know Lowe's uh, purpose is to help people love where they live you know, what a great demonstration of helping us show this community how to love a spot over here. And I keep using the word help because it was a joint project, just like Carol said. Uh, we're helping this community enjoy this special space. Uh, we're helping our associates demonstrate a key value of Lowe's, which is to help people love where they live, and also to make sure we're involved in our local communities. And this is a big event for us. We're so happy to be involved with this. We have so many people who wanted to be a part of this. Um, I have to take a second, I have to thank Carol for bringing it to my attention, otherwise I might have missed that, so thank you. I have to recognize Natalie for being such a strong advocate of this project in her community. You are clearly the driving force to the renaissance that's happening here, so great work. Thank you. And a big thank you to the team here with me today, without which none of this would have happened. Um, CB Recreation, again, uh, one of the things I think that the, um, the viewers need to know is there's going to be a series of, of beds as you see them being constructed here. And they're going to be, again, this project is so deep into the community because organizations and corporations and volunteers are adopting a bed, a garden. And already uh, the Salvation Army next door is such an instrumental partner with the Bank Street Neighborhood Association. Uh, we have the uh, Major here today. Where's the Major? Danny right here. And Sue from the, um, the Salvation Army who have partnered up with the bed. We have Victor Farias. We have Victor Farias representing the veterans here today because they are taking a bed. And, and again, what some of these groups are going to do with the garden vegetables is, again, pay it forward. Put it out there for those who need this, these fresh vegetables and fruits in an urban community where many children who will come here don't, don't get fresh fruits and vegetables on a daily basis and we all know how important they are. Um, People Incorporated will be adopting a bed and of course we talked about Natalie and her group having a bed. We talked about um, another huge neighborhood partner in Helen Rigo with her neighborhood group. She's another, look, this is the this is the cross-pollination of our community. One neighborhood group coming here to help, you know, has nothing to do with her neighborhood group, this location, but she knows that this is how you get things done. You work together. And so um, I'd also like to bring up to the microphone at this time, though, a, a really important partner in this, and that's uh, CD Recreation. Uh, Grace Gerling, come on up. Thank you, Carol. Um, I mean, everything's been said very well by Carol, Natalie, and Clint from Lowe's. I just want to uh, say that it's, it's truly wonderful to see so many community partnerships here. Uh, none of this would have been even uh, able to, to come to fruition unless all of these people came together. Um, I, I'd like to thank my outreach team, yes. uh, our youth outreach team, who's, who's worked here uh, for the past couple of days. Um, Chris is a driving force behind all of this as well, Chris Nardi and Jonathan. Uh, oh, thank you so much. Uh, also, uh, Youth Build of Fall River, they worked extremely hard here yesterday, shoveling uh, the blue stone uh, and, and digging. Uh, wouldn't be able to do any of that without uh, the, their young people to come here and, and help out. Uh, we also have had a group of children, I think, I believe from the Spirit of Santo, yes. Uh, who came and they're going to be um, adopting a bed as well. They actually planted yesterday. We're having so, a great time. Yeah, yeah. It's super sweet to see them here and they're going to be a big part of it as well. Again, uh, very grateful to everyone who's come out and who's participated and helped in making this possible. Uh, it's truly a great day and a great day here in the uh, Bank Street neighborhood. Thank you. I think at this time, I think what's so important um, is that we acknowledge the heroes, the Lowe's heroes. Yes. The Lowe's heroes are people like Natalie, 
the Lowe's heroes are all of you who did anything to help the media that's here today to, to spread the positive message about this because here we are, what, North 7th Street? Yep. In a place that many people in our community don't even drive down the street. But if you think about what was here before, a decrepit, torn down, uh, uh, falling apart old building, and it took a vision. And I ask people who are, who are watching this throughout the month or whenever you watch it, what little piece can you do and spark for this community? And when you look in the mirror and you think about they, look, and it's they is you. And so, Natalie, we can't thank you enough oh, for I sparking that and, and being part of them. <laughs> thank you. I want to thank everyone. I mean, even our police department is here to make yeah. sure everything is well. Um, you got Ryan Pearson, yes. Mike Dion, you've got um, uh, uh, Representative um, uh, Paul Schmidt, yeah. you got um, uh, Eric Andrade from the Flint, you've got um, uh, Youth Build uh, Recreation, you got Chuck Gregory, <laughs> you got the Air Vets, you got the Salvation Army, we've got Helen Rigo, uh, Father Kelly is not here, I think they're on their way. Uh, you get all our board members that uh, uh, come out. I, I can't thank enough. I can't thank Paul, uh, Paul, uh, Paul, oh my God, Pamela Martin, Philip, D Dr. Dave Weed. I want to thank everybody, and you all are going to be proud. Come maybe sometime in July, we'll all get a nice gathering <coughs> so everybody can see the feel of it. So we'll have a little cookout or something here for everybody to come and enjoy the, the, the time for that little bit of time there. I want to mention that there's not only going to be the beds, right. uh, we also yeah. came up with a concept uh, for some handicapped beds. So yes. that um, I think that was a, an addition that yes. we talked about, that when people come in, um, you know, they might be able to come in and even wheel up their wheelchair to a highly raised bed. So if they want to participate in some of the weeding or planting, uh, that will be open to them. It was very important for Natalie and for Lowe's to do that. Um, and there's going to be a pergola set up eventually. This is, this is the spark, the Lowe's spark that this community garden needed. Uh, but it will continue to evolve. So anyone who's watching who wants to participate uh, through a donation, Yes. A small donation to Natalie. I'm not the. I'm not trying to peddle uh, <laughs> money here, but a small donation to this group for this community garden. Uh, please contact Natalie or one of her board members, and she will direct you because uh, they want to maintain this, and they're going to maintain this as a treasure for our community. We are paying the taxes. Well, we are paying the water. We are paying the insurance. We are paying the electric. Um, uh, I did, we're, it's going to work out. We're we're lucky that uh, recreation took took it on so we can work with them because recreation is right down across the street across the other on the other street where we'll be working together with Grace and uh, uh, Ray and uh, uh, Chris their youth build their children that go there so this is gonna go a long way then we're gonna have a classroom over here as well we're gonna do a pergola we're gonna have a classroom where we have nurses already and we have nurses and uh, nurse practitioners already ready ready to go when we're ready where they're gonna educate people on how to eat healthy if they're a diabetic what you should eat what you shouldn't eat just to kind of guide the health part of it so this is gonna be big if everything goes well and goes well to our dreams very Lowe's company, Lowe's, Dave, Plant, Cindy, all of you are going to be very proud driving by saying that, hey, it came true. Thanks to you guys. So thank you.